Welcome back to my Heart of the Swarm playthrough. We are currently on Char after completing Calder as well as Azeris. And that means that the Queen of Blades is now more powerful than ever before. Now we have taken the fight to General Warfield, who for some reason is still hanging out and who is still stationed on the surface of Char. Now we have previously made our way through the Bone Trench, a very, uh, a very scary name. And apparently we are now indeed headed to the Dauntless. Plateau. My queen, I have been contacted by Kalisa, a broodmother. She has heard of your accomplishments and wishes to return her brood to the swarm. Her brood is small in number, but it has strong leviathans. Kalisa, hear me. The planet Mista 4 is a hub of Dominion military production. Take your brood there and destroy it. Do that, and you will earn your place within the swarm. It shall be as you say, my queen. Alrighty, so apparently more and more queens or brood mothers are trying to join the swarm as well. Anyways, here we are back once again in the Leviathan. I really don't know though why they gave him such daunting names, right? Like the Dauntless Plateau and the Bone Trench. I really wonder if those names already existed in the original campaign. And now, before we do anything though, it's time to apparently say hi to our little pet Zorkling over here, but also talk to everyone around the ship. What's going on, the Haka? Why are you so obsessed with collecting essence? It will mean survival. Because new essence makes you powerful? Power will be a trap. The Buck leaders fell to this. If it's not power, what is it you get from essence? Essence is change. Change is survival. Collect and live. Stay still and die. So, essentially, the Haka is just trying to turn into, like, a 10,000-year-old Grandpa Zerk. Eh, fair enough. I mean, that's, that's, that's aspiration right there. I can appreciate that ambition. Now, I've been talking a lot about uh, Isha's nose, or rather the lack thereof. Now, one of you pointed out in the previous episode, or one of the previous episodes, that... Yes, she doesn't have a nose, but her legs are quite literally the main leviathan. And I didn't quite think about that just yet. Do you think uh, Isha is actually the embodiment of the leviathan itself? I mean, it seems like, you know, her tail just goes directly in. Do you think she's the brain of the leviathan? Is that a thing? I, I really don't know. I should probably get reading on my StarCraft lore books. But anyways, Isha, how are you doing today? I know you don't have a nose yet, but your legs are literally the leviathan. It is a good sign that some of your brood mothers are returning yeah, to the fold. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I wonder why they are willing to give up their independence. Perhaps not all of them wish to rule the swarm. And perhaps they know there is safety in numbers. I guess it's all about survival, eh? Fair enough. Zagara, do you have anything interesting to say about survival as well? Your strategy against the Terrans was strange, but I understand it now. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? Vision. Is this like cunning? No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. <laughs> His work is painful. His work will make you understand Vision. I will go. Rather than just simply giving her a dictionary, Apparently Kerrigan decides that the best way is to just simply alter her brain a little bit more. Well, poor old Sagara, I guess it's the best course of action though. Anyway, here is Warfield's compound. I really don't know why the man is still sitting here on the surface. I mean, this mustn't be a, a very pleasant area to hang out. And when you think about it, right, if he's a, a general, he must be very important. And therefore, you know, obviously he probably has better things to do than just simply occupying this space in case... Uh, the Queen of Blades returns and then even if she, you know, if she does, which obviously is what we're doing right now, he hasn't really prepared for an all-out assault. Anyway, Warfield's compound, let's have a look. I don't need to read Warfield's mind to know what he's planning for me. He has no idea what he's up against. Hmm. By the way, I just noticed there are some devourers in the sky as well. I'm pretty sure, wait, 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 didn't we just see some devourers or am I going crazy? I think there must have been some. Besides just the mutas that are hanging around the compound as well. Anyway, let's see what Abathur has done to Zagara. 
Are you finished? In the past, did I ever give you humans to experiment on? Yes, very bad. Primitive structures, minimal biological adaptability. I was born a Terran. Rare Terran individuals, high psionic potential. Yeah, she was a overcome ghost. Overcome flawed origins. From now on, we won't be doing any more experiments on humans. Overcome I'm flawed to know it. origin. Abathur, you have a way with words, my man. You've been an inspiration to us all, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, apparently we don't hear anything from Zagara. Does that mean she's... Nope. She's probably down there in the evolution pit somewhere. Now, I did get a lot of levels in the previous one. Not quite enough yet, though. Yeah, we are still at level 45 right now. That means that we need five more to unlock the next tier of abilities. And I haven't read these yet. I mean, you guys can kind of read them, maybe? I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to read them yet. I guess you can pause and have a look at them in case you're interested, but I don't like spoiling myself very much. Well, without further ado, I think it means that we are headed to our next mission. To rule Char once again, we must destroy the Terran Fortress. They will fight with everything they have. We need only your command, my queen. Thank you very much, Isha. Apparently, the main objective reward for this mission, where we destroy Warfield's fortress, is indeed the Baneling Evolution mission. Now, I very fondly remember the Splitter Strain. I'm sure some of you do as well. I'm pretty sure it's actually the uh, the kind of Baneling that Zagara has in the co-op version of SC2. I don't remember. I don't remember what the other one was though, and I'm pretty sure that one is not going to be weak either. The bailing evolution missions are going to be very interesting. We'll go ahead and complete that one in the next episode. So do make sure you have subscribed in case you haven't already. But anyways, apparently the bonus objective reward is two Kerrigan levels. I mean, we are slowly getting more, but it's not going particularly quick. Apparently though, we will also unlock the aberration, which is pretty awesome. But brutal has been selected. It's time to start. We've reached the Terran Fortress. They're dug in and ready for us. There's no room for subtlety here. We will go after them wherever they are and overwhelm them. Prepare for nuclear launch. I want the only thing left of these bugs to be glowing corpses. General Warfield is activating his nuclear arsenal. We have to move fast. Zagara, you set up a hive cluster while I take this wave and do as much damage as I can. Oh, man. Oh, man. I get access to all of those? And wait, Zagara is the one actually... Oh! I will ready a hive cluster for the swarm while you do as much damage as you can, my queen. Okay. Send me reinforcements when you can. This is going to be funny. Oh, man. Oh, man. We are just swarming through it. Do I just attack Repair me? The Zerg assault. Don't budge an inch. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I do. I just simply attack move through this entire area of the map. And this actually reminds me of one of the uh, one of the uh, co-op missions. It's just me. Anyways, I guess I'll just head up towards the north because I may as well. Come on, Kerrigan. I know you're not fast. I didn't give you any of those abilities. Oh, yeah, bring him forward. Woo! Roll, roll, roll your banes gently down their base. I, I will I will spare you the rest of my beautiful singing, but uh, just know that I'm excited about the fact that I'm rolling the banes. I'm not even bothering microing them. Do we have to bother microing them? I have no clue. I'm just attack moving. Do I get more Zagara? Zagara, how's your macro? You haven't really spread the creep, so I'm hoping you're you're focusing on like generating larva and all that. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Incoming Zerg, get the wounded to the evac ship. The evac ship. Pathetic. We have no time for such things. All right. Well, so far, I mean, apparently, I'm getting rid of a gold base here. That seems like a good idea. Apparently, the nuclear strike will hit in about 30 seconds, though. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. I would like to clean all of this up. So maybe, if I do have to macro, maybe if I do have to macro, these bugs will never take charge. I can, uh, I can uh, grab the gold base. Maybe I actually should have gone for the other one as well. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, looks like we have successfully taken care of this area of the map. I can try and roll forward a little bit more. But uh, the nuclear strike will hit right now. And the base is cleaned. Seems good, right? I think so. Time for the nuclear option. Kill them all. 
My poor Banelings! Oh no! At least the drones are still there. Some of them. Our hive cluster barely survived that blast, my queen. Alright. Warfield will drop more nukes on us as his arsenal comes online. Our only hope is to breach his tactical operations center. Once we're inside, it's all over. I have created something to help you destroy the Terrans. The Aberration. Sequences sloppy, yet effective. Use them, my queen. Take control of the base, and the Terrans will learn to fear the swarm. The good old Aberration. It's one of those interesting units, because it benefits from melee upgrades, and it's like a tier 2 unit. Something we don't currently have in SC2 in a multiplayer. Essentially, um, you just uh, make Zerglings and melee upgrades, right? And it works like a charm. I kind of wish they would add like a tier 2 um, melee unit to the multiplayer version of SC2 as well. Because right now we obviously have Zerglings and we have Ultralisks. And I guess Banelings benefit from melee too. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot that you can play at tier 2. Other than, of course, more Zerglings. My queen, and, uh, I like it. within these facilities, the Terrans experiment upon the Zerg. This cannot be allowed. Oh. I'll destroy them if I get the chance, Zagara. <laughs> so apparently, um, apparently there's no issue, right? I'm actually gonna try and take the gold. Anyway, apparently there's no issue with the Zerk experimenting on uh, on uh, on uh, the Terran, but the other way around is terrible, obviously. <laughs> anyway, so we can go ahead and create our aberration. They are durable units that deal heavy damage to armored units. I would actually love it if, like, the straight up. You know, aberration would be added to the multiplayer. It would it would change out the entirety of SC2. It would change up all of the Zerk uh, all of the Zerk matchups very easily. Anyway, um, I want to make sure, of course, that I get both of the bonus objectives. I'm not sure exactly when the next nuclear strike will hit. I also don't know if I should maybe hang out in that area for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I already have a base. Whoa! I'm getting scanned. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get myself a Hydra then. I think Aberrations and Hydralisk should what do quite it? well. We I think. Anyway, it's time to send some drones in that direction. We've located the Zerg Hive Cluster. Deploy assault teams. Oh, no. Oh! Okay, I thought he was gonna continue nuking, but that's not the case. Apparently, he's just simply gonna send units in this direction. That's okay. I could make some Pokey Boys. Because it sounds like, uh, like it to me that, you know, they're trying to make me make some Pokey Boys. All right, well, you know what? I'll just hang out over here, which is probably the safest area. And obviously, um, I want to make sure that I get some drones going over at that base as well. I think actually the wild mutation, which I haven't been all too fond of so far, to be honest. It seems really strong, but the little circle is tiny. Um, it seems like a great, uh, great option, maybe, on, uh, on aberration. Right? Yeah, look at that. Woo! All right, let's go ahead and saturate that base entirely. I just made a huge amount of workers. Very nice. Um, I don't really need the lurker down, I don't think. I'm just gonna start upgrading carapace now. And maybe I should even get a second evolution chamber, even though the upgrades finish real fast. Just so I don't feel bad making a variety of zerklings and hydras and aberrations and all that. Usually it feels kind of silly to do that. What was that? Was, did I just dis Okay, I think I just destroyed a, a lamppost or something along those lines. Um, anyway, so I need to make sure that I want to do both of the objectives. I'm actually gonna leave some drones here behind as well. Um, how's that? Perfect. I want to make sure that I make some uh, some static defense here in the center of the map. I'm gonna start making some more aberrations just because they are a lot of fun. Oh, there is a nuclear launch. Terrans are launching another nuclear missile. Clear the area. Eww. Your queen listens. Very interesting. I was thinking about maybe making some more static defense over here in the center, but if they're gonna nuke all of this area, it's gonna get really complicated really fast. Anyway. Yes. We may as well. I got the gold base right now for additional income, which of course is really nice. There we go. And maybe, uh, I'll just make whatever, right? A bunch of static defense. A bunch of pike, uh, pokey boys and spine boys. Should be good. Then we'll make a couple more drones over here as well, and I want to make some more static defense over in that area too. Can now go ahead and make some hydralisk, which I think are going to be really helpful. No It'd be so interesting, right? In a multiplayer, let me know. Let me know if I'm crazy down below in the comment section. How cool would it be to have aberrations like a tier two melee unit to the multiplayer version of SC2? I think it would be really, really, really interesting. Maybe not balanced, right? Don't get me wrong. It probably wouldn't be balanced right away, but 
I think it would be very interesting, game design-wise, to have something along those lines. Anyway, I'm assuming, yep. Oh my god, Warhounds? I was gonna say, I'm assuming they're gonna push over in this area as well, and oh my god, Warhounds are stupid strong! Pulling the boys right now. I'm sorry, Mr. Drone. I'm sorry. I'll get you some, some new workers, though. I'll get you some new workers. I guess my assumption was indeed correct. They did indeed uh, plan on going for a bit of a pushover in this area. I think I made enough workers, though. <laughs> Alright, well, I got a pretty decent army now. We're still uh, advancing onwards, of course. I want to make sure that I do both of the bonus objectives as soon as possible. I don't know exactly if I need to worry about anything. Nuclear launch detected. Oh, it's right here on the little bridge. Excuse me. Careful now, little hydralisk. Cool. Damn it! You'll regret this, Kerrigan. No, I won't. Not regretting anything. I tried to live life without regret, actually, Warfield. It's usually a very nice thing to do, because you wake up in the morning, and then you know everything you're going to do that day is going to be awesome. At the very least, if you put in a little bit of effort. Would highly recommend giving it a try, Mr. Warfield, because so far it seems like you're not very well focused. Anyway, I got some nice static defense set up everywhere. I'm actually coming to really, like, embrace my static defense, though, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, I got a pretty, uh, pretty good setup. I uh, have way too much gas. My automated extractors are probably a little too much. It actually doesn't really make sense to go both automated destructors and, well, whatever. Should be okay. Um, I'm gonna make like a hit squad of units, which is what I've got right here. Those are the ones that I'm roaming with, and then I think I'm gonna reinforce most of my bases. Just like that, so I can have some reinforcing units and whatnot as well, because I'm actually not in a super great position, considering they're still pushing down this ramp continuously. Maybe I should even make some Mutalisk. You know what? I'm gonna make some Mutalisk. The Muta, uh, the Muta upgrades are super nice. It's not a bad idea. Okay, they're continuously going for scans. But I want to make sure that I'm heading down right now towards the daughter base. Could even make Impalers. Impalers would work like a charm too. With all the gas I have, but... I don't really feel like making Impalers today. It's okay. That's okay. Okay. My Spire is now done. So that means I can start making some Mutalisk. I actually moved the Mutas over here because it seems like most of the attacks are headed in that direction. This base will be taken care of very easily. Leave Charles. If you stay, I will slaughter your men to the last. Oh, oh medic! Sorry, what? I was just... Anyway. Um, do I have enough here to push forward? I do not think so. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and regroup my forces. Usually medics, or rather, um, Muras are not that great for, uh, for base defense. But considering I've got this much gas, right, and I've got obviously the mutation mission on them as well. I think they're gonna be pretty decent. Actually, I don't think you're supposed to have Muras. At this level. Alright, finally got rid of some of that gas, which is nice. Let's continue flying onwards. What if I just make Mutas, actually? They've got a lot of, uh, they've got a lot of missile terrorists, though, so, you know. We'll just use them as, like, a fighting unit. It's okay. Hey, thank you. Where'd you send them? Zagara got me more aberrations, but I don't know where. Uh... I don't know. Maybe they already added them somewhere? I don't know. I really don't know if these Mutas are that great of an option, though. Yeah, they die way too easily. I'm gonna make some. Uh, I'm gonna make some impalers anyway. I know I said I didn't feel like making them today, but in retrospect, I think they're better for uh, trying to engage a. Uh... I've taken out the science facilities. That'll put an end to Warfield's experiments. I hope those bugs are good company, cause they'll join you in hell. You should have left Char to me, Warfield. Oh, man. Stop fighting my army, mate! I know this. I know! I'm trying to keep my Pokeboys alive! 
All right, it's time for us to um, start an engagement from this area. Oh my god. Mutas, what are you doing? I guess I could try and... Should we do a little bit of, of, of micro? Yeah. We can try and do a little bit of micro, right? See how this goes. Um, I do have some upgrades here. Let's see if we can do some pushing here with my mutas. That'd be fun. Oh my god, they bounce so many times though. Look at that attack. Right? Six bounces per thing. It's kind of crazy. Still adding on more and more hydras right now though. Ah, medic! Why did they give him such a voice though? Seriously. Does anyone know? Alright, I've got a real question. I've got a feeling, and, and let me know if I'm crazy. I've got a feeling, right? The voice line of the medics in StarCraft were not designed by a woman. You gave up your humanity They're so interesting. For this, to kill more people? No, 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 you got it wrong, Warfield. Your people killed my people. You killed Raynor. And the thing is, I, I really kind of like Raynor, although we were like socially awkward teenagers. So we didn't quite, you know, dare to, uh, dare to uh, admit Another to our result. feelings. How so instead, persistent. we're just beating around the bush. That's kind of our main thing so far. We're like, we're like 14, 12, 13 years old, something. Something like that. Can I make another one? Yo, stop with the nuclear launches, dude. How persistent. All right, well, I'm kind of done with you right now. It's time for us to push onwards. Damn it, girl! We saved you. How could you return to this? No, I mean your your pal, the emperor, tried to kill my pal, and I feel like we uh, we uh, you know didn't like that very much. We were supposed to be friends, and now you're doing this. Alright. Well, he did certainly give up a lot of my units there. My god. Teams, Bravo and Delta, open fire. Look at the amount of stuff that I just lost. Maybe that wasn't actually the greatest push. Um, yeah, that wasn't actually super helpful. Maybe I should make another base over here. Just because. It's probably a good idea. Let's clean up this area and double like... Remake most of our stuff, right? We kind of need more units here But we are certainly losing a lot more than I had anticipated though Then again, we have a pretty solid economy. I did spend a lot of money though I did spend a lot of money on trying to get a bunch of uh, bunch of static defense and all that and I feel like they didn't really pay off very well so far Okay Yeah, calm down. Crazy, man. These aberrations do need a lot of babysitting, that's for sure. I was making a variety of units, it's fun. I think we're gonna be okay. Clearing out most of this base. Do you think there's any reason for me to take out all of the bases? Probably not, right? I wonder if there's maybe an achievement for taking out all of the bases, but at this point I don't think we really need to try necessarily either. Um, gentlemen? Could we please, like, all rally over here? That would be great. Very nice. We're moving over in this direction. And... I guess I'll, um, I guess I'll make some more Hydralisk once again. And then follow it up with... Some additional Impalers as well. Okay. Move over, my Pokeboys. I mean, if the spines are the Pokeboys, right? What are the what are the spores? <clears throat> Do I want to know what? I don't, I don't. Anyway, trying to reinforce with some bigger units here, because I feel like the next push is gonna be a rather big one. A lot of impalers, I think, would be really nice to have. Impalers, obviously, very gas heavy, and since I've got this much gas anyway. It might be nice to have. Plus, they're really good against mech in general. The only thing is, and the only downside here, is that they've got so many missile turrets that they may very well just be able to uh, to overwhelm my units before anything happens. Oh, look, I got Groove Spines. Do you think that was actually part of the Lurker upgrade? I'm not sure. Oh, man. 
The Terrans are launching another nuclear missile. Uh, Clear the area. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Nuke. Could you? Thank you. They didn't consider the fact that I really like my uh, my units apparently. Stop! Okay, fine. I'll cancel this. Terrans are launching another nuclear missile. Clear the area. All right, do you think it's time to attack yet? I think it is. These things have 11 range, right? Keep that one in mind. So I'm gonna burrow them right now. They should be able to hit quite far away. All right. Trying to go after as much as we can. Repair that breach. Yeah, the Impalers are in a great position right now. All that's left to do is just attack move towards this direction. And I feel like, even though Mr. Warfield is running away... I think we got him. The way is clear. Go, hunt them all down. But leave General Warfield to me. Nice. That's another mission completed. Mr. Warfield! <coughs> Actually, Mr. Warfield was a pretty good friend of Rainer, right? Get the wounded to those shots. Kind of. You're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <coughs> I mean, they weren't necessarily friends. I'll get out another way. They had the same enemy. <coughs> Is it me you're looking for? Kerrigan, you listen to me. I have three shuttles packed with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> General, we're surrounded. There's no way out. You bitch. You're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you? Oh! Right now? <laughs> Don't you dare! Kerrigan actually forced the Zerg back. Oh! I guess it was more or less just about sending a message, eh? I mean, she wants to fight. So that's the thing, right? She wants to fight against Emperor Manx, or at the very least to, to piss off Emperor Manx. I guess taking back the home planet of the Zerg is kind of the first step in that journey, right? It makes a lot of sense. First off, build up your forces, then take back your home world. However, apparently she uh, she did decide to to be a little bit more human with this engagement than she would have been in the past by forcing the Zerg to retreat and allowing those shuttles to escape. Apparently though, Mr. Warfield himself, he did not suffer that same faith. He apparently did not quite, uh, you know, beat around the bush when it came to Raynor and that means that, you know, Kerrigan was pissed off. I really wonder though. If she's got any kind of scouting out in the in the in the in the in the galaxy, I suppose, for, for maybe any word of rain or whatsoever, right? Anyways. We apparently completed the old soldier's mission in the heart of the swarm campaign. We destroyed 20 enemy structures before the first nuclear strike. Okay. And then apparently there's also 
um, achievement right here for Recalled Down the Thunder. Complete the Old Soldier's mission in less than 20 minutes on normal. I mean, I did 24 minutes right now on, on Brutal. I probably could have completed it in 20 minutes if I played this a little bit differently on the Brutal difficulty. But I'll make sure to complete this one over at the live stream. In case you're interested, uh, it's twitch.tv slash TV. I stream Monday through Saturday, 2 to 8 p.m. CEST. So I try my very best to stream roughly like 35 to 40 hours or so a week. I stream quite a bit, so make sure to click the follow over there too. There's a link in the description of this video. But for now, I want to thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile or write a special shout out to the Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting me directly. But I'll see you all in the next one.